scale, it's ranged from spiritual and angelic guidance. I'm here to do a reading for Sagittarius. Now, this will be for the 16th to the 22nd of May 2022. If you've seen my readings before, welcome back. Thanks for the support. If you haven't, welcome to my channel. I hope it resonates. If it does, please don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. Don't forget, though, it's a general reading. It is not going to suit everyone out there. So take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Also, time can be fluid. Energy can be vice versa. So keep that in mind. Okay, so I've done what I did the last couple of weeks. I've shuffled. The oracle cards have come out. I've got them ready. We'll do the tarot um, on, on camera. I have um, pre-shuffled these already. So I'll just... We'll do them in a minute. All right, let's do, and I'm going to do a slightly different reading than I've done the last couple of weeks, just for something a bit different as well. Okay, let's go. So first one, discernment and change. You've also got trust in reverse and you're resisting. Yes, you are. Uh, you're not growing. You need to grow. You know, you are resilient. You may not think you are, but you're definitely resisting some sort of change. Um, but as I said, there's a lack of trust as well. You don't really think you're going to get anything else. And I feel like that comes back to you also being somewhat codependent. Um, but you do need to use your discernment as well. I feel like um, there is going to be some sort of new beginning because 1 and 0 is 1. You've got 5 and 3, 35. So 5 and 3 is 8. Eights are all about action, justice. So, yeah, I feel like there, whether there'll be some sort of change because it, it can also mean justice. Um, it could be action so that you're taking, you need to make a change. But if it's justice, it's like there might be a change that you're not in control of, like a tower moment coming in. Now, you've got karmic ties in reverse, which is number 11. <laughs> and then you've got 1111 in reverse. So you've definitely got a lot of 11s. Um, you know, as I said, there's one and one, one. There's one, one, and then one, 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 one. Maybe Google that. Maybe Google angel, angel number, you know, 11, and then 11, and then 11. Otherwise, just Google angel number 11. See what they all say. But, you know ones as i said and they're both in reverse you're not wanting to have a new beginning in a situation you've got a karmic tie um which i feel like you haven't yet dealt with um you haven't yet learned the lesson you haven't got that past life wisdom um you, you're not having a new perspective you're not wanting a new beginning with the 11 card one and one is also two so and this is a choice in partnership you don't want to make as i said so whether the action was you need to make a change, you're not wanting to make a choice. So then you've got 11, 11, 1, 1, 1, 1 is 4. So in reverse as well, this was. So 4, you know, in reverse is a lack of stability and a lack of foundation, no kind of plan. Um, and I've just now seen 333. Three, three. 3s are about growth and action taken. So Google angel number 333. Three, three. Okay, so... At the moment, you're not going to come into union with your right person because you're too busy with this karmic situation that you're not yet learning from. And, oh, my God, I can't, like, oh, my God, I cannot, oh, my God. Look what number that is. Friggin' 11. <laughs> Holy crap. Okay, so you've got 11, 11, you've got 11, and then you've got 11. Holy shit is all I can say. Oh, okay. I love cards. Like they do every single time I do them, they amaze me. Holy shit. Okay. As I said, one and one is two. So once again, it's all about choices in partnerships. Um, but yeah. There's someone else out there for you. And I feel like whether you, when you see them and when they see you, you'll know. Um, holy shit. <laughs> All right, let's move on. Oh, my God. My whole body is like goosebumping because I'm just like, 
Holy shit. All right. Anyway, then you have Birdcage and Repairman. So you've got Birdcage, which is talking about you being codependent, right? You're clinging onto something that, and you're being possessive on something that you know you need to get rid of. Um, you know, but at the same time, you're feeling like you're confined, you're feeling like you're trapped. Um, you're, you're restless, but you're at the same time, like you're stuck. You're stuck in this little cage like a bird. And you've got four. Once again, one, 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 four. One, 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 four. All up, four and four is also eight, which is talking about action, justice, which is what you already had over here with the whole making a change. I cannot plan this. Anyway, so, yeah, you're feeling like you're stuck. You're feeling like you've got no other options. You know, you've got six, which is um, repairman. Sixes are about success and reward. You know, this is about taking time to heal. It's about you want to reset. You want to make some adjustments, you know, um, you want to upgrade as such, but you just need to heal and then proceed carefully, um, make some adjustments in your life. It's like a repairman needs to do, but you need to make those adjustments in your own life. Now you've got new beginning and you've got no, you don't want to, you don't want a new beginning. As I said, you're not wanting to make that chance, that, that chance. You're not wanting to make that choice. You're not wanting to take that change and make that change. Um, once again, because you're codependent and, you know, all the same things I've already said to you in all the other readings we've had. Uh, be careful of your health because that may suffer. You've also got dream. You've also got 4-4, four, four, which is 8, like I said. 8s keep coming up for you as well. You've also got... Three, 3-3. Three. And as I said, 3-3-3 three, three, three came up before. 3s are about growth and action taken. It all seems to be about the exact same messages. You're about your stability and what action you're taking and what choices you're making. You know, um, you might get some guidance in your dreams, so really pay attention to them um, because they may help you. Okay, so the next, the last deck you've got, you've got the lion and you've got the island. Now, you've got three and six. Threes, once again, growth action taken. Sixes. Success and reward. So I feel like you make the changes, you take the action, you will be successful. Same messages over and over and over and over, no matter what cards I get. Um, you've also got nine. You haven't had this yet. So that's about accomplishments and um, some sort of climax. So you've got the moose for that one. Right. So let's start with the island. This is about you needing to separate. You know, you feel like you're very standoffish in the in your situation that you're in, um, but you are very protected. As much as you feel lonely and isolated, you feel like, you know, you're by yourself. It's like you're in this relationship. Oh, what was that saying? It's like the worst, something about the worst, oh, 0909. Look up that as well. Angel number 0909, um, which is funny. You just got nine, but... Yeah, it's the saying is something about it's it's a horrible feeling when you're in a relationship but you still feel like alone. Something about that. Like um I can't remember exactly, but it's yeah, you're in a situation like that. You're in a situation where you feel very very lonely and alone even though you ha you you may not be in the same, you know, you're in the same room as this person, but you can still feel very lonely. To me, that says you're not in the right relationship, which we've already established. I think with loads of your readings for a while now. Now, you've got the lion. 
right? This is about self-esteem, pride, ego, overcoming obstacles, you know, and being fair and just. And like the lions are so majestic and, you know, they're so powerful and strong and, you know, you need to be that. You need to be like the lion, right? You need some self-esteem. You need to have some pride. You need to overcome difficulties but at the same time be fair and just i feel like at the moment you're in a situation like i said but you can have victory and success but you've got to make a change you've really got to make a change you know none of this is really what you want and i just realized the discernment is one zero which is one right you've got six and four over here which is ten which is one because one and zero is ten one and zero or six and four is ten um you've got a whole heap of tens to one and zero is a one so you've got one 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 just in this little section that i've read so far anyway sorry i just realized that now the last as i said the other card on the bottom is moose this talks about you being independent needing some time alone. Um, it's about being confident, you know. Um, and I feel like, you, I mean, nines, as I said, are accomplishments and I feel like you need to be alone. You need that kind of, you need to be independent. You need to be able to be self-sufficient, look after yourself, you know, all that sort of stuff. And I feel like that's what it's saying. You need to make the change and... Look after, be able to look after yourself. Okay, so what I'm going to do now, Tarot, I'll do this side is your person. Your person is whatever that is for you. This is you're going to be your side, um, and I'll do some other cards to if I need them. Um, but yeah, I feel like you can take whichever resonates with you. But this is the side I'm going to be doing is for them. So take as resonates with you, and this will be you. Okay, let's do, let's do how does your person, like what's your person going through right now? And I'll try and get four cards, please, four cards. One more for Sag. I just felt like doing something a bit different for, for a change. One more card, please. For Sage or that person, so this person. One more, thank you. Right, now it's going to be about Sage. What's Sage going through? Okay, let's start with your person. So, you they have the Ace of Ariel, which is the Ace of Pentacles, the and they that's in reverse. The Lovers is in reverse. Decision, which is the same as the Devil, is in reverse, and the Page of Michael, which is the Page of Swords, in reverse. Um, we'll deal with the bottom of the deck in a minute. So, the Ace of Ariel, the Ace of Pentacles. You know, in reverse, some financial loss. Your person is going through definitely some sort of financial loss. And that's probably because they're supporting you as well now. Um, like I said, you're there. And, you know, whether that's stability, money, whatever this is, their material resources, it's like you're there using that. So that's obviously a financial loss. Um For some, it might be that they don't even have a job. They could have lost their job. Maybe with, you know, everything that's gone on in the world. Um, maybe they've changed their job. But 
yeah just i for them i feel like there is even if they've got a job with more money there's still that financial loss because if they were by themselves you know what i'm saying like or material resources whatever stability i just feel like all of that is at a loss and that's because 15 15 one five one five google that um also you know i guess because you're they're looking after you right they're providing that stability and the material resources and the money and whatever um but the lovers is in reverse now the lovers in reverse talks about needing them needing some self-love and also you know there's this imbalance there's i don't feel like it's really that happier situation um there's disharmony but i feel like you have very different values than they do and i mean them looking after you clearly they have good values but yeah the lovers is in reverse um i feel like someone doesn't want to make this emotional choice um they also i don't feel like this is a deep emotional commitment there is probably a lack of love in this situation i don't feel like you know you feel attracted to them or like yeah come on tell me more tell me more about sedge's person please They don't want to detach from somebody that's like the devil. And I feel like, you know, they are the kind of person that tries to avoid conflict. They will repress everything before they, you know, they'll have a lot of inner conflict going on, but they're kind of pushing everything down. Like they're just trying to avoid an argument with you. So whether they don't really want to be supporting you or, you know, they don't want you living at their house or whatever, but they do it and they don't say anything because, you know, they don't want to have conflict. But at the same time, like they want to be saving money. They want to be able to, um, yeah, but I feel like you're very stubborn and you want long-term security and I just feel like, yeah. This person just kind of represses everything. Uh, they don't want to make a decision, like I said, with the devil in reverse. It's exactly the same card as that. Exact same card in reverse. They don't want to detach from you. They don't want to release themselves from something that's holding them back. And then they've got the page of Michael in reverse, the page of swords. You know, um, I feel like it is somebody though. Like, I don't feel like this is a bad thing. They don't really want to sort of, yeah, I just feel like they don't really want to stir trouble. But with the page, I mean, they don't really have a plan because I feel like, what can they do? What kick you out? You know, I feel like they do know a lot like i feel like this is a very uh, normally you know page of swords in reverse is not such a good person right but i feel like it's it's i'm not taking it that way for them i feel like they are quite a smart person that's the information that i'm getting and but at the same time they're needing to detach from somebody who's like the page of swords in reverse they try they need to detach from this person who obviously has addictions 1919 can also be negative you know people with a negative mindsets or bad habits or it's an unhealthy relationship with this person but i feel like with the with the page um there's somebody who's a bit scatterbrained there's somebody who's sarcastic they're gossipy they're insulting, they're rude, um, snobby, you know, they they don't have a plan. They don't they don't plan on leaving because that means they'd have to look after themselves. So I just feel like they're with that could describe you, 
Like, it's like if you're dating this person or with this person already and they're looking after you, I feel like, yeah, they they need to detach from this person. But they don't. They don't want to. Or they can't because it's going to cause conflict. So they kind of stay there. The Queen of Pentacles doesn't have to be female, can mean female or male, but they're somebody who's possibly got kids, right? They're very, you know, dependable, they're warm-hearted, they're generous, reliable, loyal, intelligent. Um, they 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 have a job, you know, they're a working parent. So I feel like that's that describes your person, like I said. Um, but the Knight of Pentacles is the person they need to detach from. They're bored, they're stuck, they're someone that feels like they're at a standstill, they're irresponsible, they're careless, they have a short attention span. And then we'll go to your side. I probably should put those cards back in so we can get a bit. Oh, I forgot the card on the bottom. Um... So the card on the bottom was the Ace of Cups in reverse. I mean, there isn't a really, I mean, there's not an emotional, there's no emotional fulfillment. There's no intimacy for some of you. There's, it's like a lack of love, a lack of, you know, it's like, it's not like this is deep love. It's not like this is true love. It's not like this is really any kind of situation like that. Um... Yeah. Um, right, back to you. So your side, you have the page of swords, oh, sorry, page of wands in reverse, the six of cups in reverse, the ace of swords and the seven of pentacles in reverse. You've got the wheel of fortune and on the bottom you've got the three of swords and the queen of pentacles. And we'll go the King of Cups as well. Okay, so with the Page of Wands in reverse, um, this is somebody who they have self, like this is you, right? So I feel like you don't think you can achieve much. You have those kind of limiting beliefs. You are on a spiritual path. There's things that you need to learn from this situation, right? Because you have a lot of conflict, you have confusion. Um, I just, yeah, I, I just feel like you, because you doubt yourself so much, like you could achieve whatever you put your mind to, but I feel like you just kind of limit yourself. You think, no, I can't work. I can't, I can't, I can't do that. Um, I can't make money. I can't, whatever. You doubt yourself a lot. And I feel like you've been disappointed a lot in your past. Um, there could also be friendships that you've lost be, or something to do with friendships. Maybe you just see this person as more as a, of a friend um, as well. But, yeah, I just feel like, you know, in the past you've been disappointed a lot. So that obviously affects you. Tell me more. That's sad. Just tell me more about that sad. You need to manifest what it is you want in your life. You don't really even have a plan, I don't feel like. Um, with the Page of Swords and the Five of Cups in reverse... I feel like there's going to be some sort of communication come in and I feel like with the five of cups in reverse, someone is going to move on. They're going to, you know, forgive themselves, have hope, and I feel like that could be you, but there is going to be some sort of communication that's going to come in. Maybe that communication is going to be someone new. Maybe that communication is someone that's coming in to tell your person something about you. I don't know. It's going to be different for different people. Um... But you've got the Ace of Swords, which is, you know, as I said, communication. It's truth, justice. Um, making a decision, getting some clarity. As I said, I just feel like someone's going to communicate something. 
whether it's you communicating to your person to say like I don't want to do this anymore like maybe you decide to you know take back your empower in your life maybe you decide enough is enough maybe you, know, you realized you do need to make a change you know even though you were you know you're feeling like this bird in a cage maybe your person has a bird in a cage I don't know um, maybe their favorite animals are lions maybe your favorite animal is a lion or a moose I don't know but whatever this is I just feel like there's going to be some sort of communication that takes place and there is going to be an emotional loss there is going to be a moving on there is going to be you know hope but it's you making slow progress so maybe this will happen maybe you tell this person you're not happy um, I feel like you're not wanting to break a cycle you're not wanting to you're resisting the change but I feel like you know there's going to be let me tell me more about this what's this communication there is like slow progress to getting whatever it is you want queen of wands I mean this is all about oh look six yeah as I said resisting the change it's like somebody may break up with you right your person may break up with you but then at the same time you got the six of wands where they're like oh resisting the change they feel like there's unfinished business there's too many obstacles um, but really this comes back to you having some self-respect and some self-confidence and realizing you know what you're not happy in the situation stop using this person or whatever you know you can have success and victory you can have your wishes fulfilled but once again you need to break a cycle and then you've got the three three of swords in reverse the queen of pentacles in reverse which you you know and the king of cups and we'll do the strength like you're recovering you are going to go through some sort of heartbreak that you are going to recover from right you are going to be fine you need to release that pain but at the same time the three of pentacles you need to work on your finances because this look this whole situation you're here because you can't afford to move out you can't afford to be away from this person they're codependent they're giving you this material happy like this stability and material resources right so whatever this is you need to be able to provide that for yourself because i feel like once you do you you wouldn't need this person and i feel like this person is like the king of cups they're a really good person they're wise they're stable they're intuitive possibly they're empathetic you know and here you are being like the queen of pentacles you're needing to in reverse you're needing to still do that work you're not a divine counterpart because you're two very different suits but it is going to take strength for you to move on all right well that's what i have um for you i hope that resonates uh if it does please don't forget to share like and subscribe um and i will catch you with the next reading thanks so much for watching okay bye